Hello, and welcome to Marky's Garage. Hey, recently I was asked by a school teacher to cut holes into tennis balls like this. She wants crisscrosses in them so that kids can put them under their chairs so they're not so noisy. I've also done it for walkers before. So what I do is I take my cordless grinder, which is pretty simple. One of these little blades from Home Depot, and you got to make sure it's the thin um, abrasive blade. It's very thin, the thinnest one you can buy there at Home Depot. Simply come over to your tennis balls, put them in a vise, so there's a little bit of pressure on them. You can see how they're uh, bulging up out of the vise, and these ones are already split in half and they're ruined, that's why I'm using these. Um, so they're kind of deformed a little bit, but anyway, put your grinder on and cut one way first, actually cut horizontally first, like this. Do a little slice in it there, and then cut the other one. And sometimes a little hole will pop up and you got to stop really fast so you don't make the hole too big. So we're going to watch it. Stop right there. And I don't know if you can see that, but you can see the small slices in each hole. We're going to come back and we're going to do it this way, the other way. Again, just enough so that it protrudes like that. No, just enough. And you want to stop really shy before that hole gets any bigger. Be sure and wear a painter's grade respirator because the burning rubber is pretty nasty. Also wear eye protection. Thank you. That's how to make holes in tennis balls. Easiest way. Bye-bye.